my time on YouTube, I've had a fair few comments being like, I want to see your room. Give us a full tour. Because I only really film in one corner of my room if I'm doing a face thing, so... Here. Here it is. Just putting it out there. My room isn't isn't amazing. I'm I'm not rich. My room is very small. It I you could do two large strides and you'll be at one wall to the other. So this is my door. And this is my room. I'll do a little spin first. We got my bed, my PC, a, a stand heater, and my door. So as you can see, it's not. Not, not the biggest room. Um, so I guess I'll start with the back of my door. Um, I have this little hangy thing. I, I love this. I've had this for years. It's so cute and simple and it, it's got hearts on it. Um, so here I keep my bags. I only really own two bags. I think I own a couple of other bags but they're like over the shoulder kind of shopping bags. I don't really use them that much. And to be fair, I don't really use this one that much either. I love this bag. I think I got it from Spins. I'm, I'm like, I don't know, I might be wrong. Um, in 2018. I love it. It's cute. It's black. It goes with everything. It's comfy and it has a very kawaii little bow detail. This bag is also from Spins. It's very, it's very similar, very cute. It's like a little side bag version. Um, it's got little pom-poms. Yeah, it's cute. Um, I also added this little Dumbo from Tokyo Disneyland. Um, it opens up, it's based off the little popcorn bucket, so I can't open it. So if you like, whoa, you can put a little secret inside, but it's kind of small. Um, and the little uh, popcorns actually have like little Dumbo characters in some of them, so if you look really closely, there's a little Dumbo. And then here, you guys are probably like, whoa, is that Rapunzel? It is! It's my Secret Honey Rapunzel dress. I got it this year and I love it so much, so I just kind of keep it here. <laughs> I never thought I would own it. It's like the ultimate cosplay. Uh, I love Rapunzel, she's my favorite princess. It's just so well made, it's beautiful, it's, it's everything. I love, very pretty. I need to get a steamer and get rid of all the little creases before I wear it to a convention, but I don't see I'm going to a convention soon. It's 2020, you know? It's door. Um, next, radiator. Great, great for the winter. And then this is where I keep my tripod. Um, it just kind of fits in there. Nowhere else to really put it. And then I have my drawers. I guess I'll start with like above the drawers. I hang my ukulele here. Um, I love it. I don't play it as much as I should and I'm not like great at it, but it's just so pretty. I love my uke. It's so cute. Uh, I should probably play it more, but I, I, I don't. <laughs> um, I have it hanging here on one of those like, what are those called? Sticky wool strips. I had two and I would hang them by the peg, but one of them came off. Um, so now I hang it using the like hair elastic trick. It's hanging to the wall in a very DIY fashion, so I have this like clear display case. I got it to display like LPS and things in, but it's just gonna stay there. It's not even that noticeable if you're like far away. It just kind of looks like it's hanging on the wall there, so it does the job. <laughs> to the left we have some books. This is just like a plain paper book I bought ages ago. I should probably use it, but I just... Does anyone else have that problem where you buy like a drawing book and you don't want to use it until you finish your current drawing bo book? And then you're like, why did I buy that drawing book? So it's just kind of there. I should probably use it. Um, and then I have my my three favorite mangas, I guess. When I was a teenager, I had like a shelf full of manga. Um, and then I sold it all because I, I never read it. I just kind of had it to have stuff for the sake of having stuff, which isn't very good. So I sold a little bit last year and kept like my favorites. So I have on display like the first volumes for, for some of them in case I just feel like having a read. I don't really read them that much or if like anyone comes over and they're bored, they can have a read of some, some manga. So I have the Chibi Vampire. It's basically about a vampire, but she is a vampire in reverse. She's really cute. I love it. Um, it's yeah, you can kind of see she, she she's she's reverse vampire. Uh, I love her. She, I I wanted a cosplay when I was a kid, but I never did. But maybe I should as like a throwback, huh? Um, I actually watched the anime to that as a teen, and then bought the manga. I I think I prefer the anime, but I never finished the manga. Same with Full Moon. Full Moon was one of my favorite 
animes as a kid still is just because nostalgia. Um, it's about a girl who um, is very sick and she wants to be a singer but she is probably gonna die before then and then some Shinigami come down to earth to try and take her away but then she's like no I don't want to go and then that's what the whole manga is about she's trying to find her true love and become a singer and it's really cute and wholesome I recommend Full Moon if you are younger and then Chibi Vampire if you're a teen it's not for kids <laughs> and then this one I picked up from a Barnes & Noble when I was in America years ago and it just kind of stuck to me I was never able to find the other volumes in my country so I read the rest online but it's actually really good it's a wholesome story about a girl who has a sunflower blog and she is trying her best to, to, I don't know, express herself I guess. It's meant to be a room tour, not a, a manga video. <laughs> but yeah, and then I have a, a little like, what's it called, S -S Sudoku. I got that in Japan to do on the plane home. And then I have a Denpa Alamode photo book. Um, I found this in a secondhand shop in Japan and Denpa Gumi is my fave. She's my fave idol. They're very cute. They have very happy, happy fun music. It's kind of an old photo book because some of these members have left now, but it's I like it because it's how I remember the group. This was like my favorite time period for Dampa, so we can just pretend they never left and no one ever joined. <laughs> and then here I have a little like lint roller. I don't need to use it much, kind of gross, but uh, that's what a lint roller does, doesn't it? It's from Swimmer and it was like my favourite uh, Japanese knickknack household brand, but unfortunately it closed down. And on the right side of my uke I have this little Toilet sparkle themed candle. I got this at Ponycon. I've been burning it sparingly because it smells so good. It smells of like lavender and lemon. And then in this little um I got this in Japan from a Disney store and it was a sticky note box but I got it to put all my earrings in um, and it has like a little mirror. Say hello, hi. Uh, <laughs> so I thought it would be perfect and I bought loads of earrings in Japan. They'd be cute though and they're cheap so yes, they're a bit, they're all a bit tangled but we got some cute little Pikachu ones. You get the idea. I like to keep them there on the side so if I'm going out I always forget to put jewellery on and if they're there it kind of reminds me as I'm leaving put your earrings in girl because you have too many of them. In these drawers I have like some clothes and socks. Um, I put my makeup in the kitty cat one and then some hair stuff like hair accessories and then some like work things in there. And then under here I like to keep my like arts and crafty things like kind of semi on display so like if I'm over here in bed and I'm like what do I do and I catch the glimpse of my pencil case down in the corner I'll be like wow I can do a drawing that's also why I like to keep my ukulele on display so keeping things that keep you creatively motivated around you is like a great way to feel inspired anyway also I forgot to show you standing up <laughs> so we have up the feet like every time now and again it's at night and it's dark I think that's like a giant spider in the corner of my room but no it's just Arpa and then along the top here I have lights which I'll show you in a minute anyway back to the drawing stuff I have my pencil case here which is also from Swimmer I keep pencils, colours and my Copics and I also have some skin tone Copics that don't fit in there uh, Copic books I haven't used them yet because I hate Wasting paper because these aren't cheap, but they're also kind of waste if they're just sitting there. I don't really like showing my art much because it's not that like, great, but uh, those are characters of like a series that I've been working on. I don't know if I'll do it, but I drew them as humans. I, I shipped them, okay. <laughs> also, did like a little Mimu design. This is my first Copic thing I've ever done. It's not that like, great, but I'm kind of proud of what I, I did because I'd never used that medium before. Uh, yes. I have a cat. I liked it at the time, but now looking back, I kind of hate it. Uh, Hatsune Miku I didn't finish. Well, I'll, this is a room tour, not an art tour. So I keep those there. Kind of semi on display, but also hidden, so you know. And then we have Eevee. In this little crevice, it looks a bit messy, but it kind of has to be there. Yeah. Um, uh, we got, got my, my winter slippers. <laughs> um, here we have my uh, fan mail book. 
I used to keep all my fan mail in folders. Oh, it's kind of heavy. Oh. But now I keep it in a book. It's really cute. It's, it's a biggie scrapbook. I'm still decorating it with digital pieces. So yeah, that, that's that. And I put all my old fan mail in here. So yeah, that's kind of cool, right? Right, right. Oh, and then this uh, this piece of art I love. It's double-sided. I don't know if you can really see, but there's another one on the other side. Um, I couldn't decide which one to to put up. It's by um, Premium Poms on Instagram. She's such a good artist. I got it from uh, PonyCon. I have this poster stuff from when I did Junko TikToks. Uh, my DSLR camera I keep here. I don't actually use it that much. I only use it for filming LPS videos. And that's not even that often. Not that much anymore. I mostly use the camera I'm holding and filming with right now. Have some chargers. Um, in here is my ring light. Um, kind of glad it snugly fits in there in a way because, yeah, I used to have soft boxes and they took up so much space. And then all these papers here are like a couple of different folders of. Oh, th this is a script that doesn't count. But um, th these are different filming backdrops for um, LPS things. So. Yeah, and I'm also sliding that back in there. Shh, we're not going to talk about that. I have little, like, she charms and little badges on my, my blind pillars. Because I don't really have many places to put badges because I can't put them on these bags because they'll tear off because they're, like, that plasticky material. So I like to keep them here where I can, like, see them. I got this one at a convention in America. And this one I have a Mermaid Melody pin. I'll put the artist's name up here, I can't remember off the top of my head, um, but they do a lot of Mermaid Melody stuff and it's one of my favourite childhood cartoony animes, and then I have a little glacier And on the other side I have a Hanukkah, I don't really like Hanukkah much but this pin's cute, and a little Starlight Glimmer, so that's My windowsill, I just have like some perfumes, I don't really use them that much and some like skincare things. And on the other side I have this very sad looking candle on its last legs. Um, it, it smells pretty sweet though. And then here we have my PC. It's not amazing. This desk is from when I was like a kid. <laughs> it's meant to be like a vanity table so it, it's really not fitting for a PC because that means I have to hunch over more. I should probably replace it. It's not the best. It doesn't really fit in with, with, with the aesthetic but it does the job. Um, I got my blue snowball. I want to upgrade it soon so I can get into like voice acting stuff. That'll be fun. Um, got some coasters. Um, yeah, this is by the the same artist. I'm pretty sure. Got that at PonyCon, and I have this Nico one from Japan. So I just use whatever I'm vibing with, and then my phone. Yeah, great. And then this is where I keep my little remote. It probably won't show up, but... Oh yeah, it does! Whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah, I have lights that go around my room. Yeah. I kind of want to get another pack, just because they go all the way around and then finish there. I kind of want them to go like all the way around, but... Can't have it all. Um, but it can change colours. So, say you wanted this blue. Or you want this blue, or this blue, yeah. Um, but it doesn't have a pink, I didn't realise that, it makes me sad. There's like five different greens, but no pink. Sad. What a proud little sushi cat, we love them. Um, oh, I've also got some little Procuras from Japan. They, they print like some really tiny ones, so I'm like, what do I do with it? So I just put some on there. My office chair is kind of bad, would not recommend. Uh, I would love to get like a kawaii gamer girl set up at some point where it's like all pink and white, but it's not really in the budget right now. Um, then we have my shelf, and um, this is like the angle I always film my TikTok videos if you know me from TikTok, so yes, let's get into that. Um, move this out the way. Uh, so at the base of my bed, this is where I keep most of my clothes. I do have like a standing wardrobe in a separate room where I keep my uh, like dresses and cosplay things. Um, but in here, I keep my like skirts and trousers. 
but because this is in the way I can only use half of this space which is annoying but yeah there's that um, I, I fold them like this just so I can kind of see what I have and then it means I, I wear a variety of things more often and then I did the same for this got all my shirts and then all of my sweaters at the back wow in my bed I have this little Dratini neck pillow I got in the Pokemon Center in Japan I use it like pretty much every night it's so comfortable and even if you're not using it you can like sleep on himself like this and it just looks like a regular plushie how perfect okay so where do I start with this um I guess I'll start at, at pink um actually like recently I only just put up the the flowers here I'm not sure if I like them I think it might look better with fake ivy I don't know these flowers were left over from decorating my Rapunzel wig so I just kind of stuck them up there um yeah I've also hung these little like um Tokyo Mew Mew charms so we got Ichigo put in lettuce mint and Zacro they just chill there they hang on the little like pegs that I pegged into the wood with so it's kind of convenient and then we have a little uh, Melody and what's the name of that cat? Can't remember. Anyway, at the pink we have ma my mascot and my pony mascot just chilling there. Got Madoka, some Kirby's, one in a crayon game in Japan. I love, I can't remember what the name of this brand is, but I love their plushies. I kind of wish I got the third design. You'll see the other one later. Got a little Sakura pom pom her in. Um, my old Alice Stars Animal Jam mascot, Marie, uh, Lala from Tree Power, um, Cure Happy, is it? Question mark. Um, and then the giant LPS, um, Mew Ichigo is made, and the little diva. I'm not a fan of Pop Funkos, but this one I liked because it's just mostly a mech. Um, yeah. And then we have this really, really cute art that uh, a fan made me at Ponycon. I love it so much. Um, I eventually want to hang it a little bit higher so you can see it from a distance, but thank you. Also, uh, this was made for me at Ponycon. Da -da -da, it's by Donut Dust, I'm pretty sure. Yes. And we got Marie, probably one of my favourite Pokemon, just because it's Fat and fluffy, just like me. <laughs> uh, then we have some of my childhood ponies. I, I don't even know the name of that one. I just kind of put it there because it's yellow and this is the yellow area. I've um, got a hidden Applejack, got Rin and Len. I don't have their stands anymore. These are very old like um, Figma figures, which I got when I was like 14 and did not know how to look after them properly. So. They're not in the best state, but hey, they're still here. Um, then we have a Denpagumi ink plush, little Rapunzel Simpson, uh, a little Rin hanging here on the little Pikachu, and another Denpagumi. Um, and then we're getting into the Pom Pom Shrine. I do want to work on this. It's, it's a work in progress. I need to build up some more, like, up here, but... Yeah, he's really cute. He's wearing my Uluigi hat, because I didn't know where else to put it. And he, he kind of kind of pulls it off um and then we have a few more pom-pom things Ooh, i got this from the pom pom Perin cafe in japan very cute look at him he's a little sauce cup then we're moving on to blue i don't really have anything green so we just have a little diy froggy chair and a little chikorita yeah <laughs> um so we're going straight to blue um got little Alice because I'm Alice and this is me she's really cute I love this figure I've, I've never had a sitting down figure before and you can still see her legs it's really cool um, so yeah she's making her little flower crown and her eyes are kind of glass eyes hard to see um, got a lot of your not your honey yo just yo <laughs> oops big fan um, figurines I won a lot of them in arcades in Japan, and I think I just got another one really cheap in Japan. She is my favourite Love Life Sunshine character, but I was just never a huge fan of Love Life Sunshine as a whole. Um, but she's really cute. I love her. Got a little Vaporeon. Um, uh, what was it called? 
a Lulu and Vulpic little kitty. This is my first ever glass eyed LPS custom and I love her. I'll never sell her, she's so pretty. Um, have a little baby pony. I don't know what her name is, do you guys know? I don't know, she's cute. And then we have a little Neo pet. Um, yeah, a little, little walkie. Um, and then we have my uh, Denpagumi um, light stick, which they came to London and then I met them and they signed it and it was it was a wonderful, glorious day. Um, here's another plushie to match that one. Um, I kind of wish I got the yellow one too, but where would I put it? There's a giant yellow landmass. Um, little Sarino, Sarino, how you pronounce it, lads? A little rainbow dash hanging out, um, hiding um, some G G2 ponies from my childhood. And then over here is kind of the sad looking purple section. I don't really own anything purple. Um, this um, art is really awesome. I love um, Joey. He does some really amazing art and he goes to PonyCon pretty much every year. So I try to buy from him every year. Um, so I got this one last year and I also want to hang it a little bit higher. Um, I was also cosplaying uh, Starlight at the time so I had to buy her. Got some purple ponies back here. A little Rapunzel, she does look a bit creepy but hey. And then I have my switch here. It's not plugged in so I can't charge from this dock but it's just a good place to keep it. I don't have a fancy switch, it's not like special so I kind of just put some construction paper and a little miraculous sticker right there and it kind of blends in with like the blue theme. It does its job, you know? Yeah, it's, 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 doing, it's doing its best. Da -na -na -na. So yeah, that is that's my room. I hope you guys liked it. It's not much special really. Also, I forgot to show you this little poster. I got that in America too. I actually really want to hang my uh, YouTube plaque here. It used to be on like here, leaning up against here, where, where, where this is now. Um, so I put it back in its little safe box. Um, and I want to hang my plaque there, but I'm too nervous to drill a hole in the wall. And I'm worried if I use some of those like sticky back hooks that it'll fall off and smash and I'll never be able to replace it because it's a YouTube like and it's one of a kind. Um, so, maybe one day. <laughs> and that was my light switch. Whoa! This bit just has, has my phone charger. This is my door. This is up. Yeah, great. 10 out of 10. Thanks for coming to my room. Thanks for watching. Uh, subscribe if you enjoyed. If, yeah.